my name is Ziva and my my video name is Ziva Ziva. I'm gonna teach you how to do this hoverboard. I just started learning today and, and I just learned. So first of all, this Gary Olsen. So if you wanna turn it on, you press it one time. Wait. And then if you wanna press, turn it off, press it two times. So basically, um, there's a, a basically one way to go. So this is the way. So first, you keep your leg in the middle, and then when there's a there's a green button, green thing circle which will pop here. That's when you get on, and you can easily move it. Like you can turn your legs to, and basically um. To make sure you you'll just lean a little bit forward, and you have to control your legs to make it forward. You lean just a little bit forward, and if you want, I still didn't learn how to go backwards. But basically, if you want to get up, just go like this and go backwards because there's a reason why you don't go forward. Let me show you. If you go forward, it'll just lean. It'll just go over. So that's why you should always go backwards. And first, if, if you're learning, you have to try to get your balance and then go front. And then you might need to grab on to a little front. Or, and sometimes it might turn, so that's why you have to get off first and then try to turn it to the angle you want first so that you don't move to a different angle. Sometimes it will wiggle, so you might need a doll if you're trying it. Sometimes, sometimes it, it might even move your own feet, so that's why you have to try to control your own hoverboard. Thank you. Yeah. And then just glide and keep your um, body a little leaning. And then if you want to turn, just like this. Just do the same thing in your body. Turn it back. And then you can turn it. If you want to go backwards, you might just need a... Little back movement. Yeah. Okay, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. And if you want turn, to go please. Back, if you want to go backwards... Turn, just, please. If you want to go backwards, just turn your hoverboard and then you'll be going backwards. Turn that side, please. Sometimes you might, sometimes you might fall off those good eyes. Good idea to hold on to something, but sometimes you turn this side. You might crash, so let's just be careful. You when you make crash, sure to wear the helmet, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah, since I try to turn it to make sure you let go that I am super fast, so that your hoverboard doesn't go the wrong way and just crash into that item. So it's okay. It's a good idea to possibly just turn without holding anything. Sometimes when you turn, you might fall over, so that's why you hold quickly and just release when you're about to turn. Yes. Make sure, guys, you should wear helmet yes. while you are going on the roads yeah. or anywhere because it will protect your skull. Basically, it's the most uh, but good. The most place you don't need to wear a helmet is probably on the carpet. Yes. Because um, basically. Carpet is a little bit uh, oilish yeah, and soft. And because the hoverboard doesn't really fall off, but if you just wiggle it, you might fall off. So that's why it's a good idea to not do it. Yes. So I and you might. Uh, oh, you, you saw me fall down. So basically, um, there's one more thing. Um, when you try to turn it on or off, you have to make sure you hear the click on that button so that it works correctly. And you. And it's not off or on still. Otherwise, you might waste the battery. So, I just got hurt. So, that's why I'm just, um, I just, I'm um, just relaxing. And just, I'm just staying on the sofa until I feel better and trying again, okay?